David's the first one to look at the board, so he's going to pick first who he wants to be. So we have four different sides here. Do you want to know about this? Yeah. Okay, we have four different sides here. This is um, the, the Cuban Revolution. Historically, this is the side that won uh, Fidel Castro's forces. Uh, Do they always win in the game? No. No. Um, <laughs> it should be that they all have, I'm, a, I'm assuming I have a faith that they all have equal chance of winning. Mommy, this is Haiti. <laughs> This is Garmin. This is Haiti. This could be a blue. It's our factions available. The blue is the government. So this is the Ooh. the Cuban Revolution. So I would play like the president. You'd like be Batista. Batista. Yeah, yeah. You'd be Batista, but not necessarily because he could he can get overthrown. Yeah. Or he can run away, <laughs> and so you're just whoever's kind of the yeah. government. You're the yeah. There's a lot of abstraction to this game. So, yeah, you could be the government, or you could be the syndicate, which is like the mob. I know. You could be the green. Well, green. Um, David already picked this for the 26th of July. That's Oh, Castro. you did? Now, because maybe, it's red. Maybe yeah. You could, maybe you could talk about it. and. Could maybe, I be Che? <laughs> che Guevara is, is on this team. <laughs> Um, and there's actually a card that's no. Che Guevara. No. Okay, so I can't, no. I can't be that. So. You can be El Directorio, um, which is the, um, the kind of I'll like... I'll whatever you guys give me, Joe. Okay. I'll play it. You can be wet. I don't like yellow that much by itself. Um, that's not my, f I mean, I kind of like that color green, but it's not my favorite. I mean, it, I like more of a dark winter, or a dark, like, hunter green. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, I guess it comes down to blue and red, and because there's so much blue on the board, that I would feel a little, like, a, a little lost in the board if I were also blue. So, I'm going to pick, I'll pick red. He's gonna be a yellow. He's gonna be a yellow. I don't um, care. What do you What do you think would be? Why, why are you ask? I don't know. What do you want to do? I picked my color, so don't. I think don't you might enjoy being the response. government, um, especially since you. Yeah, I th I'd say. I don't know. Follow your heart, really. Um, my heart yeah. kind of pulls me towards El Directorio. That's personally. Yeah, but you know, it's your game. I'll right. be whatever. Well, no, what's what does your heart say though? Maybe I shouldn't I think, have said that. Mm. You think El Directorio? Yeah. You'd be it. working a lot with David. And if if that's how <laughs> So they kinda of have a role where you said how your life like that's like your life. If you wanna be like your life, then pick El Directorio. If you wanna you know and if I want to lose, <laughs> well, no, no, the sides are are balanced, yeah. and they all have a, a chance of winning. I don't know. Who do you think should be blue? I like you. Mm. Who should be green? I like sour. Oh, who should be yellow? Well, I want to be green. Who should be yellow? And who should be red? David. Okay, we'll see what they pick, okay? Let's see what they pick. Yup. So to go along with the game that we're playing, Cuba Libre, I'm making us Cuba Libres to drink, which is essentially rum and coke with lime. A few of them are missing. <laughs> Alright, so we've been I mean, playing... A learning game of Cuba Libre, like, you know, far more than me. and we just got that. to our first propaganda. I don't know how much further we're going to get. It's getting late, um, but we've all learned, and I would like to talk to everyone about how they feel the game's going or what they think about um, things so far. Uh, we've got all of our components here, so um, first we're going to try to cut this long. <laughs> Which is, uh...
quite difficult to do. Um, the government role, that's it, the challenge is that you are fighting to maintain, you're not fighting to gain. And it's like, to keep that control, it's really, really tough. Like, I don't feel like I know enough about the game yet. I think after, probably if we had continued past the first phase or first, um, that first propaganda, you'd start to, to grasp like how um, each of the sequence of plays, you know, what kind of movements you should do with your troops and police forces. But um, no, I like the game. I think through a couple different playthroughs, it would be interesting to play the same role or take on another role. Because the knife is dull. Or the line is very no. hard. The knife is dull. <laughs> it's lime Optimist, stone. not optimist. Okay. I think that the board is really pretty. I like the way the board looks. I really like the way these cards look. Because um, you don't even know if this is upside down or not. It's so, <laughs> it's so aesthetically pleasing. Um, but I, th I feel like uh, the, <clears throat> the Castro people uh, require someone who um, is very aggressive. And uh, it felt like... Like, uh, it requires them to be really strong antagonists or something. I just, I just felt that way, and uh, I didn't do that. <laughs> but... So, we have our Coca-Cola... Classic. Classic. Sans... <clears throat> the cocaine. Um, and we have Bacardi Superior Puerto Rican rum. Um, the silver or white, the clear, um, that's what the recipe called for, so. I mean, this specific situation is that it feels like um, there's more uh, dynamic to the game if the red player is is really contesting uh, the government, the blue player is much stronger. Um, and I felt like I didn't, I just kind of did some minor things, but I, uh, I could have been a lot more, probably a lot more active and um, strategic. So I feel like uh, <clears throat> just one one play through. I uh, feel like that that's that's probably uh, if you want to be more very aggressive and very uh, very conniving. Feels like the red players is super good. Maybe maybe they're all like that though, since I didn't play all of them. So. <clears throat> so in the recipe, it's approximately two ounces of of rum, which we're using this baby bottle to measure. <laughs> Kids don't try this at home. That's actually about two and a half ounces, but that's okay. So we're going to pour that in there. I did feel like I could trust David more than probably the historic El Directorio could trust 26 July. But at the same time, you know, again, it was early in the game, so he could have, could have decided to do something else. But we had that pact early on. Uh, those of you watching this video don't know, but we did the pact pretty quickly, um, so we weren't we weren't about to hurt each other, yeah. right? And then the, and then and then the card showed up, right? Which made it more convenient that we had that pact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point, good point. Yeah. And then we're gonna squeeze this lime over there, and we're just gonna drop it in and fill the rest of it up with Coca Cola. Classic. That's probably good right there. We don't have any ice, um, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I'm in the business of uh, bringing the access of to casinos to everyone in this great nation. <laughs> but from my experience, I've learned that building casinos and Spreading this wonderful thing is a slow progression. It requires the protection of the government. It requires some negotiation with other entities. And it takes a lot. 
one must be a businessman, but he must also be somewhat a politician. Or <laughs> negotiator. Hmm. Would someone like to, to have a taste and I would. see if I got the, the ratios right? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, Mazel tov, Opa, Slancha. Mmm, that's quite nice. Yeah. Cuba Libre.